Good morning students how are you all i hope you are taking care of yourself today we will be doing course book unit 2 poem the muddled head it's written by s markshak now this poem is written just to make you laugh there is no meaning behind this now i knew a man from pitushki a muddled headed as he could be he always got mixed up with clothes he wrote he wore his mittens on the toes forgot his collar in the haste and tied his tie around the waist what a muddled head was he the man who lived in pitushki now this poem is telling about a man from pitushki he was a muddled head person muddled head person means a confused person he got mixed up with his clothes even he wore his mittens now what are mittens mittens are small gloves now instead of wearing them in the hand he used to wear them on the toes his collar shirt collar he used to forget to put it properly and even his um, tie he never he for used to forget to put his tie in the neck and he used to tie it around the waist they told him as he went out about you've got your coat on inside out and when they saw his hat they said you've put a saucepan on your head what a muddled head he was he the man who lived in putish pitushki now this man when he went out people told him that he has worn his coat inside out inside out means andar bahar ulta pen rakha tha usne and uh, he was when he they saw his cap they his hat they used to say that he is wearing a saucepan you can see in the picture what is a saucepan okay now such a confused person this man was at lunch he scratched a piece of bread and spread some butter on his head he put his walking stick to bed and he stood in the rack instead what a muddled head was he the man who lived in pitushki now this man when he was having his lunch he put the butter on his head and started scratching the bread instead of scratching his head and when he went to sleep he put his stick walking stick to bed and he himself went and stood in the corner in place of the stick now this type of a muddled help person he was now he walked up to the tram one day and climbed up very springly conductor thought that he would pay instead he said politely pardoning your begun kingster monductor i am off for a week's vacation i stop you to beg your cram way tar as soon as we reach the station conductor got a fright and didn't sleep that night what a muddled head was he that man who lived in pitushki now one day he walked up to the tram you know what's a tram in calcutta calcutta and other places you must have seen in a movie also on the road they have like, just like train but it, that moves very slowly so that's what is called a tram now this man he climbs on a tram and he tells the conductor in a confusing manner he mixes up all the words instead of saying beg your pardon he says pardoning your begun now he says he wanted to say that uh, as you reach the station you stop your uh, tramway car and he says stop your beg your tramway car so he mixes the words and he jumbles the sentence now when the conductor heard this he got frightened and in the night he could not sleep he rushed to the first cafe a railway ticket please one way and the ticket officer said a slice of tea and a cup of bread and a muddled head was he then man who lived in pitushki now at the station he reached a cafe he entered a cafe and there he asked for one ticket return ticket and at the station only he went to the ticket counter and there he asked for a Uh, for instead of asking a cup of coffee and a slice of bread he says slice of coffee and a cup of bread so all that he mixed up at the ticket counter he asks for a uh, cup of slice of of uh, tea and cup of 
bread and at the cafe he asked for a ticket so this is how he mixed up everything he passed the man collecting the fares and entered a carriage awaiting repairs he stood on the siding but all by itself half of his luggage he put on a shelf the rest on the floor his coat on his lap and settled himself on a bed for a nap all at once he raised his head i must have been asleep he said hey what stop is this he cried pitushki a voice replied now after taking that ticket and coffee and bread and all he entered a train a carriage now this carriage which he entered was standing all by itself aside for repairs he climbed up this carriage and he settled up his things half he kept up and half he kept down put his coat on his lap and he tried to take some nap after a little while he gets up and he says oh which place is this and somebody replied that this is pitushki now once again he closed his eyes and dreamt he was in paradise when he woke he looked about raised the window and leaned out i have seen this town before i believe is it kharkov is it kiev tell me where i am he cried in pitushki a voice replied now again he went up to sleep and after a nap he gets up and he opens the window and he asks us, oh i have seen this place where am i where have i reached so i think this is uh, kharkov or this is kiev but then suddenly a voice from outside replies that this is pitushki and so again he settled down and dreamt the world was upside down when he woke he looked about raised the window and looked out i seem to know the station too it is nalchik or baku tell me what it is called he cried pitushki a voice replied now again he went off to sleep after little while again he got up looked outside and he says oh i know this place and he asked somebody which place is this i think this is nal nalchik or this is baku but then a voice replied that this is pitushki up he jumped it's a crime i have been riding all this time and there is i am where i began there's no way to treat a man what a muddled head was he that man who lived in pitushki now suddenly he got up with a start he jumped from the seat and he said this is no way to treat a person like this he is this is a crime i have been travelling all way and again i brought to the same place from where i sat down at least somebody could have told me that my station is come or whatever it is this is a crime so people have done wrong with me like this man from pitushki was he sat down in a carriage which was lying aside for repair and every time he opened his eyes and he thought that he is reached some station and he was there only actually in pitushki and then he says that people have done a crime to him so like this muddled head man he was with this we have finished the poem and i will be sending you the question answers in the group